be generalizing, and I don't know, Brian, if you come across this on the show often, but I, I don't know. I feel like a guy who is, I'm generalizing here again, mm-hmm. but a guy who's like secure enough in himself and in you and your choices and your power and what you want to do, why would you have an issue with that? On the guy's end, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, I love what you said about, you know, communicating, what? And being transparent, and each other's boundaries. <laughs> who did say, who said what? What does that mean? <laughs> Wait, so you're saying if the guy is secure, yeah. he won't have an issue with it? Exactly. If if it's the, if it's made in the woman's choice and her power, and she's well knowing and full knowing, like, hey, this is what I do for a living. This is what I want to do. Then it's like roll with or roll out. Like they should respect well, so that. If I, what, if is, uh, what does insecurity mean from your perspective? Well, if a guy, well, you guys are saying if they're watching you, you know, get smashed, as you said, I assume that they would, that would make them feel insecure, right? And, or maybe yeah, wait, just why, uncomfortable wait, why does sometimes. Have to make him, yeah. Well, because why else? Could, well, Couldn't think about that just it. be gross? Yeah, huh? I don't think it necessarily means they're insecure. It could make people uncomfortable, you know? Yeah, but like, I don't know in the industry. industry. I guess what I'm getting if at, I s- and you guys are guys, let's get to the root of why, though. That's what I'm saying. But I, this, yeah, is it stigmatized because it's like, quote, gross? It's like, can I, well, what, what do you mean? Hold I can on. Explain remove the air quotes on gross, by the way, but go ahead, Andrew. Yeah, it's not a stigmatization. It's not a stigmatization. Um, from your from your purview, you believe evolution is true? Of course. Yeah, so if you believe evolution is true, before we had DNA testing, how would you determine whether or not a child was yours from a male's perspective? How would you be able to determine that? Hang on, I'm talking about in a controlled porn yeah, yeah, so hang on. sex work environment. Hang on. Don't like obfiscate, don't obfiscate. About. Let's stay, <laughs> hang on, let's stick, I, let's stick with not. this. Let's stick with this, because okay, I'm trying to answer your go. question. Let's go evolution. Okay. Let's go. How would a man determine paternity before there was DNA testing? How, how could he do that? How could he determine that's my child? Why are we talking about childbirth? Answer the question. I feel like we're getting persecuted. Um, before DNA testing? Yeah. Why do you, how, how do you think a man would be able to best determine whether a child was his or not? Their partners, how the child how looks. Yeah, so, well, <laughs> so, so if they were in a relationship where the woman was only sleeping with him, and that could be determined she was only sleeping with him, that would assure paternity, right? Sure, but yeah. if we're talking, okay, so if we're talking evolution, mm-hmm. you know, knowing about evolution, mm-hmm. that going way back, right, men biologically, even now to this day, why men are so visual, so physical, have that impulse to s- survive, spread their seed, basically bone everybody, right? Where okay. women tend to be the nurturers, but wait, hang on a sec. Women tend to be the nurturers, right? There's a different role that now we're trying to navigate that, like those Neanderthal tendencies in a, in a yeah. you know, modern world. But I know, I'm not sure but that negates that logic, the point, though. But by that logic, mm-hmm. women, it could go the other way, right? No. Mm-hmm. So let's, let us assume for a moment that you're correct and that every, <laughs> that, that every man on I've planet Earth this. wants to hump as many women as they possibly can. Let's just assume it for the sake of argument that yes. they do, okay? That still would have nothing to do with wanting the women that they're sleeping with to sleep with other men. And the reason for this is because of the assurance of paternity. Women uh, can take the DNA from multiple men, but there's no assuredness that that then is going to be your child. That's the problem. And so the reason it's ingrained in men to find it revolting when their significant other is sleeping with another person besides them at any point, at least this is most men, is because that's ingrained in us because of that paternal But you're missing my point. You said it's revolting for men, right? It's mm-hmm. a societal standard because of this. It's no. like when a woman sleeps around, she's that's a slut. So, when that's a guy, sociological. Hang on a second, I'm saying please. it's biological. Wait, wait, hang on. When a man sleeps around, he's a stud. So mm-hmm. by that logic, you say repulse, revolt. It should be yeah, the other way the, around, right? Women are no, like revolted of men sleeping around. around. It's like, I'm just saying. Yeah, it, but it wouldn't be the other way around. You're talking about a so- <laughs> soci... Right, you're proving my point. No, I'm not. You're talking okay. about a sociological versus a biological phenomenon. So the sociology... But they, but they I'm, I'm kind of trying to explain it to okay. you. The sociology is meeting with the biology. True. But why? Well, it's meeting with the biology because men are revolted by promiscuous women... Women are not necessarily revolted by promiscuous men. That's right. so. It's, so it's hang on, hang on, and culturally, hang on, we've been hang on. Let me finish. You can talk in a second. I'm almost done. Okay. Oh, thanks. Okay. For so after, so after we get this foundational uh, principle established that men are generally revolted by promiscuous women, but women are not generally revolted by promiscuous men biologically. Yes, the sociological phenomenons which spiral out of that 
That's true, but it's the, the, the basis of it is the biological phenomenon. I think we're kind of saying the same thing, Don't sort of, not really. Can I interject really quick? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, just, I wasn't sure if I was going to bring this up earlier, um, but I'll say in the least detailed way, I used to be a sex worker. Mm -hmm. um, and I was a sex worker that involved sleeping with um, men. Um, and Liza was, we, we were in a relationship for a period during that time. Was it like, are you talking about prostitution? Um, not exactly, and I don't want to get into the details on here. But, okay. um, and I did do OnlyFans, so I can, I can relate to some of these ladies. I wasn't on professional sets, but. Were you escorting? Um, in a way, I just, I don't really, I don't know if I want to say it on the right now. But, um, but my point what is just. Whatever fan moment, donated moment. $200, <laughs> seeing my girl getting pounded out by a bunch of dudes is a hard no for me, dog. Pause. <laughs> Most dudes do not want to wipe a girl who sleeps around even if it's for work purposes. Let Andrew cook. Right. Go and ahead. so Go what ahead. I'm Thank talking you, about now um, is, I think, a really unique perspective as a lesbian with a woman partner. Um, and Liza can correct me if I'm wrong, but um, she loved me through the whole thing. She, su she supported me. And there was an insecurity there because of the fact that um, Liza knows that she's she we, we used to always joke about it the last 12 years like she wins like anyone I've ever dated they always are insecure around her because they know like she's who I love not them Grid One Motorsports <laughs> donated $200 I missed the bump up to continue the thought when you look back on a life of shattered relationships it was your degenerate behavior that lead to you being alone and the neighborhood cat lady <laughs> but uh, I so, so grid one <laughs> grid one uh, appreciate the tts yeah we we actually didn't do uh we're not doing 69 today we just we have a lot to get through so it's just uh tuned in up but grid one really good to see you in the chat uh really quick just before i have you continue so andrew's talking about paternity uncertainty but given the nature of your relationship right. since you're both lesbians right. there's no scenario where she could exactly. doubt the paternity if you two were to have ch i mean you'd have to adopt or there yeah. would have to be some sort of you'd have to have a, do a donor right. so it's not i mean you're welcome to chime in but i don't think this is actually addressing yeah. andrew's it's, argument it's, i think it's Can addressing the insecurity portion i was yeah. just saying my partner okay. did didn't feel insecure yeah. about me doing those things. In fact, she felt supported right. because that money helped her dreams come true. Would that be the right. opposite? Well, can I just insecurity? say one thing? That's what because when I was thinking, like, what would men potentially feel is lacking a security? And with that, uh, honestly, we don't have that because there's no worry of a child. So I'm just we're just saying we un I see the bio like how a man could feel that way, mm -hmm. and that we didn't experience that. That wasn't something that was a point of contention in that specific sure. experience Sure. Well, let's, let's back up a little bit. We're talking about insecurity versus security, because I hear right. these, these terms thrown around a lot. Right. right? That's why I, I want to get to the root of I think of. we perceive them very differently. Yeah. Do you think that it's harder or easier to gaslight somebody who's secure? Harder. Right. Way harder, right? Yeah, yeah. Of course. Way harder. Yeah, way harder. So if you were to go to a man who was really secure and mm -hmm. say, baby, I want to hump other men, mm -hmm. would it be harder to convince him Probably. Probably, right? So, so hang on. So it's yeah. not that he's insecure. It's that he's so secure right. that your gaslighting won't work. Yeah. Uh, no, 100%. Right? Isn't that what's really going on? Yeah. I have yeah. a situation. Or is it? So what you're trying to say is the opposite. You're trying to say he's so insecure that he won't accept this relationship standard. No, I say, and according to their logic, they would agree, he's so secure he won't accept your gaslighting. And I no, also think... I'm, I'm, hang on. To yeah. get really quickly. Yeah, no to get back to what I was originally talking about with you guys is in trying to have their backs, right? Is, and you're kind of proving my point. You have this like Madonna whore complex thing that sadly is like permeated through society. I don't society. even know what that means. What well, does I'll that explain mean? it. That's okay, I'll explain it to you. Okay. But I feel like when men are so secure, now granted porn, sex work, that is an extreme thing. I'm not saying everybody, oh, okay, be comfortable with that. Go on your way, la-di-da. It's a personal thing. I'm saying if somebody knows you, knows your choices, respects you, respects your work, and they're secure enough to go, you know what? I know, I know you shut that part off. I we're clear, we're transparent here. You know, we have these boundaries. I respect you, and you know, nothing can get between us. Like it's me and you, and this is your work, and that's separate. I think that's cool, and that's rare, and it's just what you guys are saying. Sadly, I think just illustrates the boxes our society, whether it be culturally, biological, whatever it is, has put us in now. That's all I was trying to say, if that makes sense yeah. to you guys. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure how that negates what I said at all. Well, Because you said a secure guy yeah. is gaslit. I'm saying a yeah. real secure guy who knows the situation they're getting into, knows what you guys have, it's impossible knows for nothing them to know. can... can 
you know, dismantle that. How could they know? Or get in between that. I think, that, I think that's how could they know what they're signing knows what you guys have. I'm not in. I'm not a sex worker. I'm not. Yeah. A sex how could how could saying. you have the expectation that a civilian would know what they're signing up for? Well, and that's no. what I was wanted to say is they that you not. don't know it until you're in it. Yeah. And that's what I think yeah. you continue to have conversations. But what I was going to bring up was that you brought up that now we do have DNA testing and all of this stuff. So if you're thinking about humans still evolving right now, wouldn't that I'm trying to think of how I want to say this. Wouldn't that take away that natural insecurity or do you don't no. think that I'm just well, wondering. Well, I don't have an opinion. So evolution is going to happen to an entire species gradually over millions right, but of years. Do you think hang that's on, happening on. now? Over millions of years. Mm -hmm. How long do you think we've had paternity testing? No, I don't know. Not very long. Well, I how mean, long do you think not very long? Is? I mean, probably like, years. yeah, so I was going to say like 40 years or something. You don't think 40 years is long enough to evolve, do you? No, not necessarily, but no, 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 no. At, be, hang on. At all. At all? Uh, then there's all... I don't want to get into that right now. But uh, I mean, if you're talking about social evolution, yeah. that would not be biological evolution. Yeah, also, so but I do agree. Also, somebody could have been born before, not that this would change anything, mm -hmm. someone could have been before the invent of the testing. No, so. 100%. I'm agreeing with you. I don't think it could happen in 40 years, but no. I'm just wondering if you think Maybe that 40 in the million? future, yeah, if, that, if this is all happening, mm -hmm. if the way that we are in the society would affect how our biologically... How are, we will biologically interact. So, so it would be possible from the evolutionist purview yeah. that in four, five, six, seven million years, mm -hmm. we will be able to leave that behind us, yeah. yes. But, but do you think we, I don't we think, should be working that now? Considering that all of recorded human That's history is about 12,000 years old, mm -hmm. recorded human yeah, history, sure. 12,000 years old, I don't think that in... Yeah, it's going to take a long, long, long time to leave that But I guess behind. I want to follow that up by asking if if you think it's headed that way, should we be acting towards that evolution anyway? Like, should we change how we act, interact with each I'm other? I'm not sure that it's heading that way. I'm just telling mm -hmm. you that theoretically, yeah. if you're asking, no, is it possible? Yeah. Then the answer is yes, it's possible. Mm -hmm. In millions of years, you could leave that but, behind yeah. from that purview. That doesn't mean we're evolving towards that. Yeah. In fact, it, seems, you, it seems like we're evolving away from it. And here's mm -hmm. why. Because uh, because of reproductive dead ends, so right now our birth the birth rates in the West the entire world are collapsing. Yeah. Free mm -hmm. fall rates. Everything is below replacement mm -hmm. all over the entirety of the West. The reason for this is because women are having children later in life. Mm -hmm. They start about uh, 30. The average age yeah, for marriage 30, 31. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so you're you're unfortunately the fertility goes way down. 100%. Way 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 down. Mm -hmm. So a lot of women are going to end up being reproductive dead ends. If that's the case, then probably monogamy is going to make a swing back in a yeah. big way. So mm -hmm. no, I don't think we would be evolving away from it anytime soon. Yeah. And we have those preferences there, the biological preferences anyway. Of right. Men find it revolting to share their women. For sure. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, just out of curiosity, are, you're straight and date women. Are you dating right now? Andrew? No, I'm married. He's married. Oh, you're married. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just share curiosity. When you see your wife... Or whoever you dated before your wife, whatever it was, mm -hmm. like flirting with another man or whatever, is that does that make you feel a type of way? Does that make you feel jealous? You're shaking your head. Yeah, I'm interested oh. to see. What you yeah, think. well, see, because I'm so secure in what my expectations are, right? I would feel completely disrespected by that, and oh, I would feel secure enough okay. to say something like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Mm -hmm. That's that's how that would go. Interesting. Okay. I, I mean, my, and I, you know, I get that's your. Vantage point. I see. I think. I think that I, the the purview of the most secure man is a man who will, who will tell a woman that they won't accept their bad behavior, whatever that may so be. So why is flirting bad behavior? I'm just I'm just mm -hmm. debating you from my point of sure. view, right? So I have a the best guy. I've set, like dream relationship, because, right? And hang on, hang yeah. on a sec. Well, I was trying to answer um, your question. So go ahead. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Oh, I was just saying. Uh, no, I'm just to, getting to the root. When you say bad behavior is flirting, it's like. Mm -hmm. Why is that bad behavior? Well, like, to that's me, what I was trying to answer. Okay. It's because of respect. But, okay, so I just am going to disagree. It's and that's per okay. person. We can have healthy, you feel, exactly, you know we can have a healthy okay, disagreement. Okay, well, let me ask you, let me ask you this. Okay. Okay. Let us assume any random man, it's a random guy, sure. random, that we were to teleport you into a relationship with him tomorrow. Just some random okay. man in the United States. Okay? You don't know anything about him. Would you say that if... We teleported you directly into a marriage with him, and he began, or you began to flirt with other guys in front of him, that he would appreciate that or not appreciate that. So that's just a random, obscure example of like taking an alien from Mars and marrying them. Yeah, it's a but... hypothetical designed to test your logic. So answer the question, please. 
why are you so combative today? That wasn't very combative. I don't know combative. you. I just met you, but my oh my. Because, my because is, I'll, I'll explain. People, okay. people often obfuscate away from points <laughs> when they're asked to test their logic. Can and you the just way I was, explain what obfuscate means. Yeah, it just it means, means they, get away. Yeah, they try to get away from it. So. Here's my So thing. do you think that they would be more or less likely to be upset? It depends on the person. This yeah, is I know. I'm it's saying. a random person. I, your view of what's, <laughs> what's disrespectful and all this is completely contrarian to what I think, right? Agreed. So when I, me personally, I don't know about you ladies, that possessive, and listen, I, my, I too have had my own journey with this. I'm not going to lie. I used to be You've super. You've had a journey? Well, I'm at. I sure I've had a journey. Are you on? on journey, are you right? on your and you're journey? On my journey right now. Lucky you. Um, of, Did I meet you on your journey? Uh, I don't know. We'll or are you out. on the path of your journey? Of, and you met me? Um, yeah, exactly. Anyway, of go ahead. Um, possessiveness and jealousy, right? So I'm just saying, for me now, mm -hmm. it is the sexiest thing when a guy is not possessive, jealous, when he's like, go ahead, guys, eat your heart out. Yeah, flirt, yeah, whatever, because at the end of the day, she's my girl, Wait, and that's, what about, on, no, and that's no. her in her power. Like, that's just me. You guys don't have to agree, and I've seen it time and time again. It's like, okay. where life is too short. Like, just be, am, each, be in actually, your individual, respective power. I'm happy to engage power. with this. Happy to engage like, with be this. Be in your power, and to sh to box your significant <laughs> other, and be like, oh, you can't do that, you can't. Wait, hold on. Why wouldn't it, hold to on. me, it's hot when girls are like, oh, your man is hot. Does some of that, like one possessiveness second, come up, yes, but it's hot. It's like, yeah, be in your power, baby. At the end of the would day, it, it's me would and it you. Would it be hot? So you said possessiveness, yes. that's bad. I'm trying to kind of control you, that's bad. That's right. So if you're in a monogamous relationship and you were inclined to open up the relationship and then go have sex with another man, would that be possessive <laughs> or controlling for your man to insist that you did not do that? It would have to be a mutual decision. It would have to, and I think the transparency is what's really cool. Yeah, but would it be insecure of him to not want that? No, no. It depends on the person. It totally depends on the. I could understand why, and we're not there, but I could understand why mm -hmm. a guy would be like, or a woman would be like, I don't, I'm not down with that. I don't feel comfortable. So then, with so that. then, let's back way up so I can engage exactly with what you're saying. Back to my this this alien transportation hypothetical. Yes. If you were. Elon teleported Musk. directly into a marriage with some random guy, a random guy. I know it depends on the individual. Totally agree. Do you think yes. that? He, do you think that that random guy would be more likely to get jealous by you flirting or less likely? My friend. If it was just a Again, random it sample. Depends on the guy. I know it depends on the guy. So how can you have me because, answer so that? So here, I can explain. Someone, I explain exactly how you can answer secure. it. Somebody and that the conversation is if you either are or you're not, but it's it's. So it, let's it's say more than let's that. say this. If 70% of the men in the United States, okay, 70% of the men in the United States would get jealous by their woman flirting with somebody else, the then if I ask you this question, if you're randomly teleported into a marriage with a random guy, then your chances are still going to be high. Hang on. If it's 70% of being teleported into a marriage with a guy who would be jealous, right? So you can't answer the question. I think it is I'm a yes comment. because of just the, if we know the way men think or we like to think we know, we never will truly know. But then the, if that's what they're expressing, I, too, I do believe that. But I think it goes to the point that you were saying is that if you say to your wife, this makes me feel disrespected, she shouldn't do it. Yeah, of course. And vice versa. I think that I wouldn't be with Delaney if she wasn't pushing me to be a better person and calling me out of my shit. And if you're not willing to take inventory and look at where you're wrong or illogical or too emotional, then we can't have these conversations because we're not willing to even step out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I agree with you that it is a personal thing. It's a personal thing. And maybe thing. I can look and at it like, at a different angle. It, is it empowerment, like you said? It's empowering for you to be able to flirt, right? With, sure. with other people. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Is it That's also, is it also empowering for you to tell a man not to flirt if it makes you uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're both empowered. Again, on, it's apples answer. and oranges. Answer, just, I'm not, not, answering I'm not the question. empowered by that. It's, okay. a, it's total apples. So it's not empowering. Because when you get to the root of it, right? Mm -hmm. You said her flirting, whatever. It's disrespectful. What is that shaking underneath? Really, if you get to the root of it, why? Why do I feel a type of way? It's insecurity. It's oh, they might like this person more than more than I they think like it's me. Insecurity. Oh, they might leave me. No, for, I think it's for insecurity them. the That's opposite way. It is. It's if like, you're with a secure person, a secure person has boundaries. If a secure person has right. boundaries, then actually by allowing you to do that, they're showing they're an insecure person. You're insecure putting your significant other in a box. 
Period. No, you're insecure Let them be demanding. A fully you're insecure human. demanding that they go outside of their preferences. I think that's insecurity. Then find that's someone who has your preferences. <laughs> yeah, don't box about, them in. Right. That's well, if you're going to find somebody who has your preferences, that goes all the way back to the conversation of: mm-hmm. Do you think you'd find somebody who's more likely to have your preferences or not? Yeah. And you still refuse to answer that question. It's less. I'm so my boyfriend. Less. My boyfriend's pretty secure, right? Yeah. And there was a point where we didn't know what we were like in relationship wise, like definition, because we started off as friends and then we were fuck buddies and then we just ended up living together. It's a whole convoluted thing. But there was a point where I was flirting with some guy because I was like, I don't know if I like anyone else. And he's like, well, don't come crying to me if you find out that his dick's not as good as mine. And he just walked (laughs) away. And it scared me so much that he was probably right that I stopped talking to the person. (laughs) It was really attractive that he actually didn't. It's not all insecurity. No, he was. He's very secure. Go ahead. He's Uh, very secure. I don't know. You you sound like you're insecure. Personally, um, I wouldn't even approach the idea of entering a relationship if someone's views on relationships differed from mine. So I feel like that's a first base conversation Mm -hmm. just to casually talk about to gauge each other's preferences, boundaries, all of it to not waste each other's time. But also, um, I feel like me personally, I, if I was in a relationship, all that matters to me is honesty and communication. So I don't see myself being in a monogamous type of relationship. That's just not something I want. It makes work difficult. It's not more so for work reasons, but just me. And I feel like that is something that's discussed in its boundaries sure. and obviously a relationship like that. Well, and what you're saying, with. what you're saying is rational is reasonable, but you would have to concede to that you could enter into a relationship with a person and People they could have the pre-agreement. Mm-hmm. And then after they're like, wait a second, this actually feels yep. different or I can't handle it or this type of thing. You couldn't really get mad at them for that. No. Right. Yeah. And that's always like, if, if they feel that way, then obviously this is not, something that would yeah. work so we just the reason i asked that is because by her definition how she just gave what she what she thinks security and insecurity is she would think that that was being insecure yeah um, is that security or insecurity that he's in the with, relationship I feel like somebody what you're saying matching mm-hmm. your no, no no she gets with somebody who does match it okay but then after six months he goes Look, this feels way different than I thought it That's would. That's fine. Right? The, of course. Is he being insecure? No. It's about not necessarily he's being insecure. Well, no, hang on, hang on. Let her answer. Let her answer. No, not necessarily. What does that mean, not necessarily? Well, it's, it depends on the situation. Well, I just gave you the situation. <laughs> That's the situation. I think situation. it's a consent, consent thing, thing consent. more than yeah. anything. If, That's exactly. You can change yeah. your consent yeah. at any time. If he's like, like yeah. look, this is, it's too much, which I'm sure, you know, you probably, you dealt with, then it's too much. And now, okay. Now, is I'm that, not like, you're a little baby bitch. No, no, I get it. But. Is that man being secure yeah, by yeah. staying true to these values and saying, listen, this feels way different than I thought it would. I don't like it. Again, I mean, Andrew, I think it's at the root of why they don't like it. That's why is I'm it getting an insecure, at the root. So that's, and it could be a little so bit. So it is it insecurity. Could be, it could be a little bit of both. It could be insecure like, in, in, in see, how but I this feel. Is, this and it could be insecure in like When you keep saying, let's get to the I root. Listed. That's where we're at. I'm getting right at this root. And if you, you do think that that is insecurity, ultimately. Because I just said it's a mix of the two. Yeah, it's, what does that mean, though? I so then it boundary, is, then. I just said, so like, if it's a mix, then it is. <laughs> boundaries and show. insecurity are almost like so if I interchangeable took, words in that scenario. Yeah, so if I took silver and I took gold and I melted them together, they would still be silver, right? Yes. Okay, great. So if there's insecurity plus blank, there's still insecurity. So mm-hmm. you saying it's a mix of insecurity plus something else means you still think it's insecure. Right. Yeah. So, I said that. so then, I said if you me. think it's insecure for a man to halfway, you no, know, I in said six months into he, a relationship, not want to date a porn star? Yeah, I, no, no. I said I, getting to the root of it. If it, if one of the reasons he's like, this is too much, it's overwhelming. I said, if one of the reasons deep down, he may not even this person alien may not even admit it to themselves. It could be partially an insecurity. It could be upbringing. It could be a number of things. But you but in and this your, scenario, your Mr. Alien yeah, man yeah, from so, Elon Musk's space, so in, I don't even know. So in like, this scenario, though, he just says, listen, it feels different than how I thought it would feel. Sure. Okay. Is, that, I, is that him being secure or insecure? 
Secure. Secure. And then secure. I think that secure when you're is walking away, as but, women, but you don't we can think so show still, our right? security <laughs> by if someone says that they don't want that, then you're so <laughs> secure in yourself that it's okay and you can let them go. Yeah. To me, like, that's my yeah. opinion. Yeah. Like, I, I don't think. If you can set a boundary, that means you're secure in yourself. But Agreed. the thing is, you guys are just talking exactly. about you have two different boundaries. Your future male partner is, has completely different boundaries than Andrew's boundaries. But him setting a boundary with his wife and you setting a boundary with your yeah, future I don't, partner. I don't, don't read the chat. I'm not oh. sure. Even I'm if not totally sure that that's different what, boundaries. I'm not sure that that's what we're disputing. I agree that I have <laughs> Grid One Motorsports donated yeah, two hundred dollars. Good, good to see you. So much delusion in one panel smells like a lot of evil feminism <laughs> ruining women and fear <laughs> relationships. Cue feminist? for the panel: Are you feminist or do you embrace the patriarchy? He's a brave and a decent man. He's a pioneer. Yeah, thank you, Grid oh, One. God. Uh, so, let's actually do Grid One's I love question. That it's either or. We can come back to this a bit. I still, we still need to get everybody's uh, relationship yes. status. So, <laughs> yes. just going around the table: uh, Are you feminist? Yes or no? Um, I feel like there's parts of feminism I agree with and there's other parts like I don't feel like like with preferences in relationships right I don't think every woman wants to be the trad wife homemaker mm -hmm. some women mm -hmm. like being independent and that's okay so just real so just real quick and we'll get back to this but we just want to get the quick answer for the panel feminists yes uh, I was gonna. It's the same vibe. I don't necessarily but, think. Uh, I'm not. Just, a, just, just one thing. I'll say no. Just then. one thing, guys. Okay. So when we're going around the table, <laughs> don't be like, I agree. Even gotcha. if you agree, just gotcha. state your actual. Yeah. yeah uh, state your actual position. Okay, and then I mean, same vibe. I mean, I just agree with parts of it and not the whole thing. I guess I can't say I am then if I disagree with some things. So kind of. So, okay. Kind of. <laughs> I am a feminist. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes, but not in the woke way. Okay. I'm also feminist, mostly. All right. Repeal the 19th. <laughs> okay, all right. The views expressed by the panelists do not necessarily reflect. Uh, are you guys? The Brian views. and Andrew? I'm not a feminist, no. Okay. Are you? I'm a misandrist. Oh, Ooh. Andrew, stop. Okay. <laughs> He's not a feminist. He's not a feminist. <laughs> That's oh wait, misandrist. That would make you a man hater. Man hater. Okay, all right. <laughs> I'm a misandrist. He's right. a misandrist. Uh, okay. I feel like you could have. Now, you, really quick, just going back to your answer, you yeah. were saying how well, but you don't believe in the trad wife thing. Wouldn't well, that precisely be a feminist? Or do you think feminists are in favor of trad no, that, wives? No, that's why. Uh, no, feminists are in favor of you know female power. Okay. But I lean somewhere in the middle. I'm. I am a happy medium between I love being a homemaker for my home, but I also like being an independent woman who's in control of myself and my career and everything. Real quick. Yes. Um, just one more question to kind of flesh this idea out better. When we say feminism, what do you think that means in like a really short, concise answer? I know that that's difficult to do, right? But just so that we have a general um, idea of what that means. Pushing for female equality in work, home, all aspects of life, reproductive okay. rights. Just what rights do we not hang have? On, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let him answer. Let him answer. Okay. Um, She's like, oh my God. Yeah. Okay. What were you going to say? And then over here? Um, I, I think it is more about equality. I think, to me, it's more of how we live and treat each other than wanting women to be on top necessarily. Mm -hmm. I truly believe that I know I'm not supposed to talk about racism, but I think they are intertwined and okay. I think you can't have one without So them. like egalitarianism? Yeah. Okay. Essentially. Mm -hmm. Like what I think feminism is. Yeah, well just what it means to you. I mean I guess yeah like equal rights okay. or I mean I'm not sure. But I feel like what you just said, you said like treating everyone with like the same respect mm -hmm. kind of vibe. Like that just mm -hmm. seems like being like I don't know like, yeah. I'm trying to think of the word. Just like that's like equality for everyone, mm -hmm. you know. So I can't like if that's it, then I don't know if that's really feminism in my mind. But I do but have to say. So what is it to you? I don't know. That's kind of wanted to ask you guys, like with that question, so like what you guys would describe it as, yeah, yeah, like in fair. that either or sense, I guess. I would describe feminism as just supporting women to 
being their fullest potential of what they want to be. So if you want to be a trad wife, I support you 100% as a feminist in yeah. being a trad wife. If you don't want to be one, I also support you 100%. Um, Egalitarianism had, between yeah, men I've and had women. wildly different things back and forth, and I'm glad I've experienced them all, and I don't think I'm less or more of a woman compared to other women because of my life experience. Mm-hmm. So... Um, but obviously feeds into equality because if we're supporting women being their highest, best self, then there are certain parts of society that are not equal, so it makes it a little harder for us to get there. Okay. Yeah. So in a concise way, I would say the economic, cultural, social equality of the sexes. Okay. I love being a woman. My the whole brand and what I'm about is empowering women, and this is why I say I'm not the... I'm not buying into the woke version of feminism because I think the whole patriarchy thing okay, has gone I, I way gotta, too I, far. Sorry, I have to stop you. Why are you... What is but your you, bone to pick You me? keep saying woman instead of women. I think it's just a weird thing I do. I know that... I notice that. But why, thank you, you for pointing you, that why, out. Why do you do that? Why are you pointing it out? Well, we're, because... We're having such a rich conversation. Because, because... I feel like you came to be a little shit starter. Because, because there, I know one like, when I see one, there's buddy. Like 20, there's like 20 different women who have been through in just the last two weeks who say woman instead of women. And honestly, I'm just really fucking confused why they do. <laughs> like, just I'm just you know, it baffled just by it. it rolls off of the tongue. Okay. We we'll talk about it later. All right, but anyway, back to your we'll definition. We'll talk about it later. Back I'm glad we sorted that out, though. Yeah. I'm glad we, because that was go ahead. bothering me. Well, it was bothering me, and I'm the important yeah. one here. But anyway, That's go ahead. Back to where you all, were. Yes. <laughs> Salute to Sir Andrew, everybody. Um, Would you? <sighs> no? I like you, but not that much. Oh, okay. Well, back <laughs> Maybe to your, by the end. Back to your the definition. The night is young. Yeah. If we can see I can eye to eye. I don't like you. Well, we'll never, who, never who see eye to eye. I'm a man. I'm taller. That's... <laughs> so we got to get you a stool. Step on the little tippy toe. Tip, 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 tip. Smaller, oh, but I, back to your I, definition. I'm smaller, but I, I, I pack a bigger punch than you. I don't know. Fun size, you know. You're Did you back to my size? De- That's right. Any punch I'm men? Five, five. No, packing a punch. Erroneous. Gotta <laughs> know, Mr. Dater. Mr. Debater. Um, I was trying to read the comments there. Master debater to you. That's um, right. Call him master debater. And give me the master damn salute. Ba- <laughs> <laughs> master debater for short. Uh, um, go ahead. Yes, I think the whole, you know, I'm sure this is one thing that we could probably see eye to eye on, is that the whole br- blaming men, villainizing men for everything, demonizing them, they're the worst, oh, oh, they're the problem for, I love men. Like, I love strong men. Let's go. Uh, the whole smash the patriar- patriarchy thing, in my mind, has just gone way too far. So you're in favor okay. of the patriarchy? <laughs> yes. Me saying smash the patriarchy thing is gone. No. So you're neutral on the patriarchy. I acknowledge that the patriarchy has been a system set in place for years and years and years and we're still dismantling it now. However, I don't dwell on that. I I focus on we fucking have kicked ass. We have more way to go, but let's focus on what's ahead and keep, you know Wait, that's so right. One, oh, I got one. I got Andrew to snap a roo. Okay, Wait, my, so you, my success for today. You do want to dismantle the patriarchy though. Sure. Well, hold on. I just think How we're is dwelling that not, on it you, is dwelling in the past. But you said you object to smashing the patriarchy. How's that any different than dismantling the patriarchy? No, no, no. They're the same thing. I'm just saying like... You I just s- don't n- like the word smash or... I mean, I like, I like a good... But you said you're you know, against like the whole smash... smash burger. No, I was going to say smash <laughs> and I was like... Yeah, so you said you're against the whole smash the patriarchy thing, but you're also no. in favor of dismantling the patriarchy. How are these different? You guys are so funny. I see what you do. I see what you do here. Can you just actually engage instead of like having a meta conversation? <laughs> yes, that's what I'm doing right now. But, okay, so you see, so, what am I, actually, hold on. No, I'll wait. engage in the meta conversation. Ways why people define feminism, but the way I've always been told is like feminism to me is like women equality and like supporting women in their decisions. Okay, all right. First wave was the right to vote. I don't think. I, well, okay, that's what the Nineteenth Amendment is to women voting. I don't think women should have the right to vote, but you know. Just Hot just, take. Yeah. The views yeah. expressed. Hot ass. I got I got yeah. The views what? expressed. Why though? I'm Why? Just Why? We're too emotional. We're too emotional. But are men not emotional happen? too? <laughs> because we the overwhelming right. majority of females just oh my feelings. Oh, mm. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So. The views expressed Emo- by the panelists do not necessarily no, reflect the views of the whatever channel. Exactly. Emotion.
a biological okay. thing. Killer of Serial like donated $200. Yeah, Can you answer this about feminism? What has the idea slash movement slash monarchy done for society in a positive way? Monarchy. Pink shirt, God, <laughs> I mean, is okay. that you? Also, define patriarchy and misandrist for me. He's a brave, Yo, decent man. He's a pioneer. Thank you, Killa. Good to see you. Um, did we? Get, I think we got the answers from everybody. We'll mm -hmm. go into Killa's. We still need to do relationship status. Mm -hmm. So could you answer this about feminism? What has the idea movement done for, for society in a positive way? Short answers, please. Go ahead. Um, feminism got us Roe v. Wade, which now that's gone. That's okay. It? All right. What about that's you? Um, I think it just has brought me a lot more security in who I am as a woman. Uh, honestly, if we're just thinking about that, I feel much more connected. <laughs> Oh my God. Grid One Motorsports donated $200. Yeah, thank you, I am one. the patriarchy, and Loudmouth oh, Pinky yes, knows boy. nothing of my oh. work. Do women have any rights that men do not grant to them? Oh, He's my a brave and decent okay. man. He's a pioneer. All right, we'll get around the table on the first oh, question, then we'll go boy. to this. Okay, what about you? Um, well, I just think that's part of the problem, is I don't think I should be granted anything by a man. I do think <laughs> there are natural rights as a human that we all have or should have, and that we do, I do think we've made so many strides. But again, feminism to me is about more community. It's doesn't, I do think it's about bringing up the matriarchy, but I don't think it has to be one or the other. I think it's about finding a way that we can work together. And you can't hate men into loving, you know, loving women, like, which I'm not saying men, all men hate women, but you know what, what I'm percentage? trying to say? I don't know percentage. I don't know, and I don't <laughs> interact with enough men to really believe okay. that. <laughs> Let's get short answers from everybody what, if we what's can. What's the question again? Sorry. Uh, what what is what's like? No, we already did that one. Oh. How feminism <laughs> like has a positive. Oh, how it's improved oh, yeah. my it's life posi or like. Has been positive for society. For oh, okay. You, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I personally think it's good that everyone can vote. Well, everyone that's like not a felon or whatever the other reasons you wouldn't be able to vote or, but okay. I think that equal rights are good. <laughs> um, I mean, it's to be blatantly obvious, look at the drastic shift the country has experienced in the last couple weeks mm -hmm. since yeah. Biden dropped out and Kamala took over. I mean, the hope is insane. I, I can feel the hope everywhere. Um, and it's, it's seeing a woman, and particularly a woman of color, um, actually being able to raise that, like, that astronomical amount of money like so quickly and seeing that People do like the the hope is infectious and it's changing society in a really positive way. I honestly think I haven't felt this light and joyful in quite a while. Is so. it <laughs> is it because she's a woman or because she's a person of color? It's I, I think it's both. I think it's both. Yeah. But I mean, I I do. I mean, and I mean this Does in the, it, the kindest way. But it breaks my heart that there are women that think that so lowly of ourselves that we shouldn't be able to make decisions in this country. The fact that like um, Kamala's, I mean listen to her speak like she, she's like she's so much more intelligent and what? Um, oh, no. yeah she is and so and I totally and as a feminist I respect your ability yeah. to be able to laugh at me like that because I I mean it breaks my heart yes, that you, <laughs> it breaks my heart you feel that you don't deserve the ability to make choices about what about her, country, her stupid but... dances though do you like the stupid dancing <laughs> i think they're funny why are you mad that she dances i mean why, she do looks, you think trump's she looks, stupid she looks fucking retarded when she does it <laughs> yeah trump looks like a I, I mean i'm not gonna this is a thing kamala doesn't attack trump looking stupid she attacks yeah his she does all, she attacks him all the time like how is she, non-stop she's well, gone after his looks how, what do you since, have to say about her besides debates. her dances it sounds like you're you I, don't have look, any the fact that she blew her way to the top the fact that she got on her knees for Willie right. Brown and sucked Dude. his cock to get into Damn, office? That's what I was, <laughs> like, how do you really Oh, feel? wow. That's some real female empowering it there. Here, come here, Willie. But come here, Willie. I got to get myself a position the in office. is what give, gave, made her <laughs> do that in the that? first place? What? I'm incredibly you think that's not proud. A good criticism? And, I mean, that's like, the... Wait, you're, below you're the proud? Uh, yeah, proud? She I'm sucked her way to the top? I am incredibly proud of her because she's extremely intelligent and, like, she's actually speaking shit that makes sense. You look her Andrew. We don't want to go back. We don't want to go back to the thinking. Question like, we're we're moving forward. Wait, I have a question though. <laughs> Being liquored up so be more fun. She was able to secure the uh, nominee as the uh, mm -hmm. as the uh, for she's running for president, right? <laughs> Without well, having no, to, she wasn't. 
actually the people's choice. Right. She just Biden dropped out. Yeah. There wasn't like a. Uh, she was just option two. She's four. That is true. Mm -hmm. Like, do you think she would have been the nominee? No, and that's had... because of the way that the patriarchal system is set up. She wouldn't have been the nominee. Like the only Even way. Among Democrats? Like we had. Is there a, is there yeah. a patriarchy among yes. Democrats? Yes. Yes. So. Oh, totally. Yeah, Hello. I mean, it, the last election, the vast majority of liberal white women voted for Trump. Like, I mean... Wait, no, they didn't. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. No, please they pull didn't. Up, please pull up Wait, your Please pull it up. Liberal white women voted for no, Trump? No, liberal white women did the not moderate, vote for Trump. The moderate. No. And a lot of liberals lean they, more moderate. They, all, they, 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 they women, register banks, as Democrats, Democrat. but they're more moderate, and they lean a little more conservative. No. But on paper, they're, they're, they're registering as no, Democrats. No, none of that's true. Okay. So here's, I mean, here's, I, what, here's <laughs> what is true. So I'll correct some of this. Okay. Liberal women, especially liberal white women, most definitely did not show up to vote for Trump. Women swung towards the Democrat vote. They always swing towards the Democrat vote, especially liberal women who are usually college educated. So college educated women overwhelmingly More vote Democrat. More white women voted for Trump in the last election than they did in the first one. That's true. Yes, what does that have to do with your claim, though? Your claim was that claim, liberal women were voting for Trump. Because a lot of these women are claiming to be moderate Democrats, and then they're saying that Trump is, is the lesser evil. They're mostly evil voting the way their husbands vote. That's what I'm saying, and that's what's so different about Kamala, is that, like, for once, those women, <laughs> those, like, stay-at-home mom, like, housewife women, for once, are going to the polls this year, and I truly believe they're going to vote for what they want. They're not just going to follow their husbands for once. They actually are going to think One for themselves. Grid One Motorsports donated $200. Seriously? Heels up, Harris? <laughs> Intelligent? That has to be the dumbest yeah. thing I have there heard today. Trump Such a role cheated model. his way and fucked deck prostitutes to, get to, the top. to the top. I don't what know why example. we don't want to talk Hold about on. that. Please reconsider <laughs> your life choices. All right, Grid One, thank you for it. By the way, Grid One, we will get to your question. We just got to get all the way around here. Let's bring it back to uh, one thing that oh feminism God. has done positive for society. <laughs> That women are no longer second-class citizens, like in some other countries. To keep it, I know we're trying to keep it moving, so to keep okay. it. Okay. Yes. All right. Um, I definitely think feminism has brought, like, opened up a lot of opportunities for women, and not just that, but it also brought like a sense of belonging. And I see like multiple women being uh, achieving for certain careers has also been super inspiring to like those around our community. So yeah. I have no idea. Because, okay. Yeah. All right. Wow. And then here we're gonna get to grid ones. So. Actually, let's just finish relationship status. Gonna, then we're uh, going to get to good ones. So, it's so, so okay, because. relationship status. Uh, I think we left off with you. Relation. Well, you guys are together. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, so same. Just engaged. Yeah, engaged. My longest relationship was six years. So. Six years. Okay. Um, All right. I'm in a relationship. A um, little bit of a backstory. We were best friends nine, ten years. Um, we've been a couple for the last two years, and a little bit out of the box to make it spicy. He's twice my age. He's the best. Such a good guy. How old is he? Now you're asking me to give away my age. Well, she said already. twice sorry. twice her age. She said she was well, 33. Well, actually, no, he's so less. I'm sorry. He's, right? No, no, no. He's not that old. He's, he's, like, he late, he's late 50s. Late 50s. Okay, late, right. late 50s. Oh, about he's twice awesome. her age. Longest relationship? Um, You know, probably this one. But usually I'm in the two-ish year range. Okay. Yeah. So longest was two-ish years. Is this your longest? This one? would be the long yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. What you, about you? Do you flirt with other dudes? Sure do. And he doesn't care. He is not. He's wow. like, baby, do you like at the end of the day, I'm yours, you're mine. Be in your power, girl. Would you you're be on fine fire. With, would you be fine with him flirting with other sure. women? Okay. All right. Yeah. What about you? Uh, I'm single and I have not been in a committed relationship. Ever? Ever. I'm picky. Long uh, <laughs> what what about time, what's the longest yeah. period of time you've uh, dated somebody? I haven't been in a committed relationship. Wait, what was your question? Well, okay, so when I say date, this can include all the way from like oh, okay. a one night stand to uh, friends with Harry benefits. Harry Louise donated $200. Thank you, Harry. These women are so delusional, Damn, one has to wonder if they believe the garbage they spew. Why are they so mad? All right, Harry Louise, thank you. Points. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> no so you've been single. Um, so 